Hi kiddos, today I'm going to talk to you about formatting your research paper in MLA style, including the Works Cited page. First, note that everything needs to be double spaced. The easiest way to do this is to press Control A. This is the best way to do it rather than manually selecting everything with your mouse, because sometimes you'll miss the very last part with your selection, and then you end up adding something at the end, and the formatting ends up mismatched. So Control A, and then you'll go to the line spacing button right here and click double space right there. If the button isn't on your menu for some reason, then you can just go to format and then line and paragraph spacing and then double space will be right there. And that will double space everything for you. Let's start with the heading and the header. An MLA heading will show up on the first page only. It will give your name and then hit enter once, then the teacher's name and then hit enter once, and then the name of the class, and in high school, you should include the period number as well. And then you want the due date. You can either do the date in the American style, which is the month followed by the date, followed by a comma, followed by the year, or you can write it the way the most of the rest of the world does, which is the date's number, followed by the month, spelled out completely, followed by the year. Next is the header. A header is something that will show up on every page, although some instructors will want you to leave the header off of the first page, but I'm not going to worry about that. Here's what you do. Go to the top of the page and click above where you just typed the heading, anywhere in this margin. Double click it and that will open it up. You'll be able to see that it's active because of this line here. You do need to justify this to the right and you do so by hitting this button right here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to type your last name only, last name, and then hit the space bar. Then what you need to do is you need to have the computer paginate your paper for you. If you put the number one here, then every page in your paper will be labeled as page one, which is bad. So what you need to do is you need to click on insert and then page numbers. Then you want this one with the page numbers on the upper right hand side and ta-da, it's paginated for you. Next is the title. You're going to need to center the title. It's actually going to be the only thing that's centered except for the works cited title as well. And that is this button right here. So you just need to hover over the title and click on center alignment. And there you go. Definitely have the computer do this one for you. Don't do it on your own. The computer is going to be way more accurate than you can be by hitting the space or tab keys. Also notice that there are no extra spaces above or below the title, and that is the exact font and size as the rest of your paper. It shouldn't be underlined and it should not be bolded, but it should be exactly centered in your paper. All right, let's move on to the Works Cited page. So the Works Cited page needs to be the last page of your entire paper, and it needs to start at the top of that last page. In other words, you have to have an insert page break. You don't want to just hit enter until you've created a new page by hitting enter, 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 enter. Okay, oh my gosh, there I am. Um, the problem with that is if you are revising your paper after this and taking things out and putting things in, it will mess up where your work cited page is. So what you need to do is you need to insert a page break. You do this by going to the very last section, hit enter once, and then hit control enter that will insert a page break for you. You're gonna title this page Works Cited. If you only have one work, then it will be Work Cited, but otherwise, if you have multiple citations, you're going to title it Works Cited with a capital W and a capital C. Hit Enter so that you can create the next line. Then go back and you need to center this title as well, the same way that you centered the title of your paper. Notice it's the same as the title for your whole paper. Everything needs to be the same size and the same font. Then what you need to do is you need to put all of the MLA citations you've used as sources in your paper onto this page. Don't worry about the formatting yet because I'm going to show you how to do that. You can use websites like easybib.com or citationmachine.net. They will make sure that your information is formatted correctly and they will also let you copy and paste from their site into your paper once you're done. So I'm going to copy and paste the ones that I have been working on, pressing paste right there. You can see that some of the formatting is messed up. Some of the margins are over here, some of it is bolded, some of it is not the same size, so we need to fix all of that. 
This is what you need to do. So you're going to select all of your citations, get rid of anything that is bolded. You can do that by just hitting bold twice. The first time we'll bold everything and the next bold will get rid of all of the bolded text. Next, make sure everything is in the same font and size. MLA recommends fonts like Times New Roman, but any equivalent legible font will do, just nothing too weird. I'm gonna keep it as Times New Roman, so I'm gonna go here and choose Times New Roman. I also need to make sure everything is the same size and the same size as my paper is 12, as you can see. So I'm going to highlight everything and make sure that everything is 12 on here also. And there you go. Next, we need to fix the margins. In a works cited page, we have what is called a hanging indent. So as you can see with the paragraphs in your paper, you indent the first lines and you can tell the next paragraph starts because the next line is indented. With the works cited page, it's the opposite. The first lines are going to stick out and the rest are going to be pushed to the right half of an inch. And this is how you do it. With all of the citations still selected, you're going to go up here and you're going to grab this triangle and you're going to make it so that it is at the 0 0.50 mark, 0 0.50, and then you're going to let go just like that. That brings everything to the half inch mark. Then to make the first line stick out, you're going to grab this rectangle just above the triangle and drag it to the 0, 0.00 mark, just like that. Now I can see all of the first lines of my citations. I'll be able to easily see all of the citations in my paper because the first lines are sticking out. So if I'm looking for Murdoch, I can see it. The final thing that you need to do is to make sure that everything is alphabetized. Everything has to be in alphabetical order by the first letter of the citation. So for example, this citation, Letting Your Research Shine, needs to be above the M's because L comes before M. I'm going to hover my mouse over the entry, anywhere over this entry is fine, and triple click, one, two, three. That is going to select the entire entry. And then all I need to do is drag it to where I need it to go. So I'm going to drag this to right before the M's and I'm going to let go and ta-da, it's exactly where it needs to be. So just make sure that everything is in alphabetical order before you're done. That's it. So good luck on your papers and I look forward to reading them. Bye.